What's up guys? Today I want to show you how I tie one of my favorite rigs for sheep's head fishing when fishing deeper waters with faster currents and heavy structures. You certainly could go inshore fishing right now for sheep's head and catch some good numbers, but there are a lot of sheep's head that are still offshore spawning, but they'll be coming back soon around the mid-September time frame to mid-October time frame is when you can expect them and you're going to want to catch them when they're coming into our inlets right where you're going to have that deeper water with the faster current and the heavy structures like jetty rocks and bridges. And these are going to likely be some bigger sheep's head and they can be a lot of fun so you don't want to miss out. The rig that I'm going to show you today is a dropper rig. Um, it's very similar to a chicken rig. The biggest difference is a chicken rig has multiple hooks and a dropper rig just has one. But if you don't know what a dropper rig is, the first thing that you're going to need is some leader line. I like to use 20 pound test Andy's monofilament. That is my favorite leader line for inshore fishing, period. You're also going to need some hooks. I like to use, when fishing for the bigger sheep's head, these Gamagatsu octopus hooks. These are a number three, or sorry, a 3-0, but I actually like to use a 2-0. I just don't have any right now, so we're going to work with these. I like to use these hooks because they are a fairly heavy gauge wire compared to some others. I also like to use owner mosquito hooks, but those are fairly thin, so I don't like to use those for my big sheep's head because big sheep's head actually can break or bend your hooks, and I've had some great success using these Gamagatsu hooks. You're also gonna need weights. So you can use pyramid weights or you can use teardrop weights with this rig. I normally prefer to use the teardrop weights. The main reason is there's nothing that you can get hung on. So if those weights go into structure, you're likely just going to be able to pull them right back out. But with the pyramid weights, they have some sharp corners and could potentially get you hung up and you end up breaking off rather than being able to pull out of that structure. But let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how I tie up the dropper rig. I think you're going to like it. It's super simple. So let's get started. This is the tag end of the leader right here. And we're actually gonna tie a non-slip loop knot to the end of this. And there's not gonna be a hook or anything involved with this knot. So the first thing that you're gonna do is go ahead and make a loop in your line. Just like this. Just like that. And go ahead and slide that loop a good ways up your line. I'd say about 10 inches or so, about like that. And then you're gonna take your tag end and put it back through that loop. Now this is a knot that's commonly used with leaders, not leaders, with lures, and we're not using a lure in this case, so you have to make sure that you put the tag end back through this loop the opposite way that you did to make the loop. Otherwise, you're just gonna be undoing it. So we'll stick that guy through there. And that is what it's going to look like. Now go ahead and make that loop fairly small. It makes it much easier to work with when you do that. Just like that. And don't worry about this loop being too big. I'll show you why here in just a few. So what I like to do is actually grab that first loop that we made. It really gives you control of everything. And we're going to wrap this tag end around our main line roughly two times. Two to three times is fine. Two. And then you're going to take your tag end and put it back through that first loop that you made. Just like this. And after that, all you got to do is pull it tight. just like that. And now we can go ahead and snip this tag end off of there. There we go. And the reason why it doesn't matter too much how big this loop is, is because you're actually going to slide the whole loop through the hole on your weight. You're gonna pinch the end of the loop and you're gonna put it through the hole on your weight, just like this. And so you want that loop to be a fairly big loop. You don't want it to be too small because you want to make it where you can stick that loop, 
completely over your weight and pull it tight. Just like that. Which is awesome because if you're going to change locations of where you're fishing or the tide is changing and um, you put on too small of a weight, then you're, you can easily adjust this rig um, and make it work for your current conditions. So now we're gonna go roughly 20 to 25 inches away from our weight on our leader. And what I like to do is just grab it, just like this. And then with my other hand, I'll come behind and grab both sides of the leader, just like this. And then after that, we're actually going to tie this whole loop right here around the line itself. Now with this loop, you don't want it to be as big as the weight side because this is actually where your hook is gonna go. And you don't want your hook to be too far off your line. I'll explain that a little bit more here in just a second. So we're gonna stick that whole loop just like this. So you got the original loop right there. We got our secondary loop and we're gonna stick this loop through those loops just like this and then we're gonna pull that tight just like that and this is where your hook is gonna go so you don't want your hook to be hanging too far off the side of that leader and I also like to do this one more time just to make sure that everything is secure Just like that and now we're ready to put our hook on there and we're going to do the same thing we did with the weight we're going to pinch this leader we're going to grab our hook and this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing because sometimes it can be tough to pinch that leader enough to get it through the hole on your hook you're going to stick it right through there after you do it a few times it's not too bad and there you go so as you can see that whole loop is now going through the eyelet of that hook. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna open up the loop and stick it around the hook, basically sticking the hook through the center of that loop. And there you go. So now you can do the same thing you do with your weight if you end up getting snagged and doling the end of your hook, or maybe you're just catching so many sheep's head that you end up doling your hook and you wanna change it out, or you're testing out different hooks to see what you like the best. It's really easy to change out hooks and weights on this rig, and that's what I love. And also, I like tying my hook further away from my weight. That way, if my weight does break off, then I still have enough line below my hook to tie one more loop and just put on another weight. And I also like to make these leaders fairly long. That way, if this whole part of the rig does break off, because odds are this is what's gonna be in the structure, that's what's gonna be hung, whether it's your hook or your weight, that's what's gonna get hung. So if you get broke off, then you still have enough leader left to tie another one, another rig on the same leader so that you don't have to tie another braid to monofilament or fluorocarbon knot um, or put on a different swivel or anything like that. This rig just makes it super simple and it has caught me some really nice sheep's head out there where it can be tough to get them in that faster current, deeper water, and heavier structures. I really like that your hook never really goes down into the structure and it really prevents you from having getting broken off as much as you might with other rigs and it can save you a ton of money compared to some of the more expensive jigs that are on the market um, that you could lose down there in those jetty rocks or around a bridge really easily. But hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this by providing you with our premium education, an exclusive online fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com we hope to see you in the Insider family soon.